In just two and a half years, the figures have changed in dramatic fashion. Unemployment has fallen from 40% to 29 and dropping. The fiscal gap has plummeted from a high of 18 million to a low of 1.1. Unpaid claims have been slashed from 100 million to about 50 million and more than $400 million have been sliced from our national debt. The Grenada economy has rebounded from negative growth to a higher growth forecast of 3.1% as GDP expands. Revenues from corporate and VAT taxes have soared as the country stands on the brink of a record surplus in government. These are the outstanding figures of the midterm report of the Keith Mitchell government. The new branding, we have done quite a lot in the Ministry of Tourism for the last two and a half years. And uh, we have started a number of projects that um, will probably um, complete in 2016 and 2017. Um, two of the main um, highlights of the two and a half years, um, I would say, would be the branding, the new brand, Pure Grenada, the Spice of the Caribbean, and we have done a lot of work with Airlift. Now, as I said, we have several other projects that have started, but we want to today probably highlight these two areas that are already taken off and doing very well for Grenada. So the, the, the brand and the new brand, Pure Grenada Spice of the Caribbean, have kicked off very well. Um, we see a number of persons coming to our shows. We see the changes that are taking place in the tourism sector, in the hotels, and, you know, throughout the, the whole um, industry. Um, Pure Grenada gives the people out there, an, a, you know, a, a, a thinking of Grenada as a pure country, simple, beautiful, free, da, free um, pure. The word pure stands out and give people that feeling of purity, that, you know, our, our island is pure, our rainforest is natural, it's beautiful, our underwater sculpture, our people are friendly. And, 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 and people want to really experience that kind of thing. They are accustomed with the, the big world out there where everything is so commercialized. Um, people want somewhere they can relax, they can, you know, be entertained, they can enjoy our cuisine, our local foods, our, you know, and our sites. And uh, hence the reason the change over Pure Grenada, the spice of the Caribbean. We are known for our spices already. And so we have added the Pure Grenada to really highlight the authenticity of Grenada, what um, we really have here, and to get people to experience the beauty of our country in their own way, in their own relaxed way. And so that has really kicked off very well. I mean, you know, it has gone through the all through the Caribbean as well as um, North America and South America and Asia, Asia, where people are so excited about Grenada. And I must say that that has created a very good impact. Now, airlift is one of the areas that we really seriously looked at because of connectivity. People are always having a problem with connecting to the other islands, connecting to get to Grenada. We are developing Grenada. We are looking at our, um, developing our hotels, our, our sites, our you know, different things. We have to get the people to come to Grenada. How do they come to Grenada? It's either by sea or by, you know, air. Yeah. And so we have looked a lot um, at how we can develop the airlift um, for Grenada and so you have seen over the past few months we have launched we have had an increase in in, in um, flights from Atlanta we have had JetBlue increase in flights coming in from New York and there are a number of flights that will be coming in from 2016 as well we are looking with other speak start speaking with other airlines already and um, we hope that um, Condo and Cooper and a num number of the airlines will be coming to Grenada to um, enhance what we have already. Um, we also looking at the region and how we can better link the region because a lot of people from the region want to come in, you know, go on a, a, you know, a, hol a vacation in the Caribbean. And so a lot of networking have started over the past two years to really um, get to see how we can connect the islands better, whether it's through air uh, or, or by sea. So that has done very well. Airlift has, Im 
um, improved a lot here in Grenada. We the, with the big hotels that are coming on stream, the Silver Sands, and so we must have airlift in place. We having we're going to have the rooms. We're going to um, develop our sites, and so to bring people to Grenada, we must have them. Um, our airlift increased. In last um, carnival, we had a lot of problems getting people to come to Grenada. And, and so we are looking at that very, very seriously. But I must say these two areas have done very well. Our branding has created a scenario for our development and um, our airlift are bringing people back and forth to our country, looking and enjoying and, and you know, everybody's getting a spin-off of, of that um, development. In just two and a half years, the figures have changed in dramatic fashion. Unemployment has fallen from 40% to 29 and dropping. The fiscal gap has plummeted from a high of 18 million to a low of 1.1. Unpaid claims have been slashed from 100 million to about 50 million, and more than 400 million dollars have been sliced from our national debt. The Grenada economy has rebounded from negative growth to a higher growth forecast of 3.1% as GDP expands. Revenues from corporate and VAT taxes have soared as the country stands on the brink of a record surplus in government. These are the outstanding figures of the midterm report of the Keith Mitchell government.